Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you some problem that I just solved that I think it may help you guys understand. This is related to SVG import and how to work with an SVG. Uh, it's a very interesting problem. It's something that SelfKit actually is quite amazing at, um, how to deal with SVGs. But the problem was that this SVG had a lot of issues, which I'm not sure which software was created, but I often see this a lot. So. The first thing we're going to do, this is very small, hard to work with. So I'm going to scale it, upscale it, um, uh, keep proportions on, and I'm going to make it, let's say, 500, just so I have enough to work with. Okay. So I already tested. I know there's some issues. I mean, you can make it work, but uh, it's it's not perfect, and the mesh wouldn't be perfect, as you expect. So the first thing I check if this is good is when I go to the face mode. I turn on face mode or polygon mode, doesn't really matter, the same thing and, and when you deal with profiles. And I select on the profile, I click on it, and I see what it selects. Now when you deal with the face mode, it should select a, it's called a minimum cycle, it should select the entire thing. And if there's nothing intersecting, this is like complete outer polygon, it should select the entire thing. If this is not selecting this, I select this piece separately, this tells me that something is broken here. You see, even if I select this separately, I'm still left over with some small places over here and some pieces over here, which tells me this is broken. I tested the inside, which is the same. Looks like it's just a copy of it, even worse. You see many different pieces. And the same is with all of these inner pieces that are broken. So first thing I'm going to say, see, investigate what the problem is. It looks like this entire thing selects as one. It's good, and the problem is here. Another thing that is, um, that I'm noticing is that this has 3,000 uh, edges. There's no need for so many edges here. And also this is duplicated, so if I'm going to fix one, the other one I can just use the mirror tool to copy, and I don't need to have this. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete these pieces. And before I simplify, I can use the simplify tool to reduce the details, but before I do that, I want first to inspect what the problem is, because sometimes if I simplify a broken shape, it may remove details and so on. So if I zoom into it all the way, you can see this has hanging edges. So now I have to switch to the edge mode. So I can select these hanging edges. I'm going to select these pieces and I'm going to click delete, simply delete. I go back to the polygon mode, see if it selects everything. And it's still not selecting everything. It selects almost everything, but if you see here, something is left over. So I have to zoom into this section as well. And you see here, I have to go to the edge mode again, so I can select just edges, and I'll select this edge and this edge, and over here, you can see there's something here that's hard to see. Um, there's an edge over here. You see, I, I mistakenly selected this. It's very tiny edges. I have to hold my control key to drag and deselect this piece. Um, also this piece here. So I've selected, I hope I haven't selected anything wrong. Okay, it looks like it's okay. Going back to the polygon mode, and this selects the entire shape completely without any problem. Okay, now I'm going to isolate this. I can make this copy using the, the inset tool. So I'm going to make just a copy, a copy of this. And I can use, I'll isolate this for a second. I can use the add thickness tool actually. Add thickness tool to add something, to add this inside piece. And once it's fixed, the add thickness will add it perfectly fine, the same idea. I'm not sure if how much the exact size was, let's say five. Okay, so I have this shape over here. And just to show you, I can simplify it. I have here a total of 708 edges. I'm gonna use to the simplify tool and reduce it to five the max. You can see, you can barely see a difference on the shape. And it's down to 142 from what, 700 something? And if I test now, take my test, still selecting an entire thing, still selecting an entire thing. So this looks good, and it's still a complete polygon. Okay, so I'm going to hide this away, and I'm going to make visible again this piece. And here I want to show a different solution. Um, I'm going to select these pieces separately. I'm first going to simplify it, because I already tested. The solution that I'm going to do, if it's very broken, it wouldn't work, especially if it has a lot of small edges, it, it may not work. So I need to first simplify. I can probably try to reduce uh, geometry clean, remove duplicates, may have a lot of duplicate stuff, just to test. Actually, there's nothing here. So we're gonna use the simplify. The problem is not duplicate, the problem is uh, just 
broken edges. I can start fixing this manually. You see all of these hanging edges. But I want to show now that I have a different tool that I can automate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these outer pieces. So I'm left just with the inside. Um, just easier to select the outside because the inside is much more difficult to select. I mean, I can select them, but I'll have to select a lot more pieces. So I'm just going to delete this that I already made my own shape. So now I have this and I'm going to hide this as well. I'm going to go to freehand drawing, which has an option that if I drag and drop or double click on a profile, it adds it to the scene. And if I add this to the scene, um, I'll finalize it, it will convert it to a mesh, but I want to keep it as a profile. So I'm going to go to the height settings and I'm going to set the height to zero. Now, here's the tricky part, as I said before, if this is fixed, when I finalize it, it will finalize it as polygons, as individual pieces. If it keeps it open, it doesn't detect them as a closed shape, it will just remove it because it doesn't remove shapes. And before, bef now I got it. Before simplifying it, it had too many tiny, small problems. When I finalized, it actually had removed two of the shapes. It kept only two. So the simplifying actually solved this problem. Uh, so the this algorithm can detect these are closed shapes. Now once I do it like this, you can see I can select them each of them because this was fixed that algorithm basically fixed it now i have these two i can go back to my fixed shape this shape and i can merge them together combine them uh, i use merge i don't need cut intersection because there's no intersections here so and this is basically done so i can get rid of this initial shape and i have here a cleaned up shape there is a total of 340 edges instead of 3,000. Actually, not 3,000 was the combined one. So I can do, <coughs> it's 340, so it's like, what, uh, almost 700 instead of 3,000. Now we're going to use the mirror to mirror the other piece. Um, I actually shouldn't mirror it now. I can mirror the object later. So, um, But I, I can mirror it now also to the side, let's say the left side. And I'm probably going to make some offset, something like this. Let's say five so this gives me this shape but i wouldn't mirror it now i'll mirror it um with the shape is done so what we're going to do now is i'm going to use fill polygon and um i'm going before i do this i want to make a copy of one shape because i want to show something later so i'm going to use this of the outside one profile and i'll make a copy of it okay so we're going to go back to this and i'm going to use fill polygons to fill this and I'm going to add thickness the way I would normally do. Add thickness, and let's say I do it 15. And we got this basic shape. Okay, but how do I get the inside? You can see we had the nice cuts inside, but how do I select them? So I'll go to polygon mode, and in polygon mode, I'll go to part selection. And in part selection, because these are nice polygons, I can easily select them. And I'll go to extrusion, and I'll extrude them, let's say, to 5. Okay, that should be fine. And I'll extrude them separately. Okay, so now I can go to, again, to my part selection. I can select this outer piece, and I can, let's say, extrude them below, or I can select polygon selection here, some different things to do. Um, I can use, if I want to use chamfer, I cannot do it because it has these triangles, so I need to convert them to rectangles. So I will select this entire thing, and I will do an inset for, let's say, one, I cannot do too much because it will start intersecting, but I think two should still be fine. And once I do two, um, I have these edges here. There's now rectangles, so I can select um, I quads, whatever. So I can select these pieces here now, and I can go to chamfer, uh, fill it or chamfer either way, and I can preview it, but I cannot do it much. The max I could do it is one because this will start self-intersecting. So I can make this rounded, but it's not exactly as expected. So it, and it's, it's not perfect. So this is why I made this copy that I wanted to show. So what I can do is I'll go back to, to um, let's say, hide this for a minute. Um, I can hide this, even delete it already. I don't need it anymore. And I'll go back to this shape. This is what I have this shape, but I'm not going to do it now. I'll go to 3D Sketch. And I'm going to draw a simple shape. Let's say I draw this and I give it a size of, let's say, 10. Okay, just a random size. I made it a lot of edges. I don't need that many edges, but it will work in so many edges as well. 
and I'm gonna use a tool. I select first this and then this. I want this to follow this, and I'm gonna use a tool that's called Follow Path, and I'll extrude this around. Now this this shape is too big. Obviously, in real size, we'll have to make it different. But now I select these two parts as well, and I can do simply combine this shape um, or subtract this shape, whatever shape I want to do. So I can position this and something. See, this is positioned on the floor and the entire thing is here on top. So let me just position this a little bit different. I cannot position this below the floor. So I need to move up. I can move up this shape a little bit. Uh, doesn't matter how much because I'm just going to align it to this. Now I'll take this shape and I'm going to align it to this shape. So this shape is called mesh one, I guess. And I want to align it on top. But on top, no, what did I do? Not the center. This is the, what am I doing? This is not mesh one, is it? It's the bottom looks like. What is this? This is mesh one. Yeah, interesting. It comes out like here on top. I can, I can move it down. Okay, but I'm in interesting why it's so much on top. It looks like it's something wrong here because it should be um, not that much up. It looks like something was here wrongly calculated the way this is aligned. Interesting. But nevertheless, I can move it down a little bit. Let's say something like this. Okay, so I can either combine this now and use a Boolean tool, um, let's say Union to combine them, or I can go subtract them. So before I do the union, I'm actually going to show another thing that is new in self-cut that you can color before boolean and it will keep the colors. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go now select, um, what I clicked here, okay, I'll select this piece and let's color this. Let's give it just some random color. I can go back to this mode and what I'm going to do is, I can select both of these shapes and I'm going to go to the boolean and let's say if I'm subtracting this and what you see what you got over here you got this nice indentation or if i can combine it and it keeps the color as well or if i can combine it and um, so let's see what i do over here and let's say whatever union or i can make just intersection which will give me this piece and keep the color inside so whatever you want to do with this uh, this is nice just showed colors but nevertheless the main idea here is that you can use the follow path in a case where the chamfer isn't working. I actually just use a simple circle, but you can do different things and just align them um, and make it work. So this is how you clean up. So the main idea what I did over here is that I looked at, I scaled it so I could see it, and we saw all of these broken edges that I was able to clean up. But the other three other parts I just cleaned up using automatically freehand drawing, but to make that work, I had to simplify it a little bit first. And nevertheless, simplify looks perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong. So that's basically it. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you. Bye.